Like if you take this famous interstellar movie equation, like one hour spent on this different planet equals seven years spent on the planet Earth. So I, I was experiencing these kind of things. After this few, more than few seconds, I said, if nobody wants to do it, I will do it then. I was very nervous, but I still believed that I was capable of doing it. Me, a quite shy person in the past, believe it or not, who would never ever imagine this. But at that moment, I, I decided that it was time to take this important step. It was time to overcome my insecurity. It was time to keep moving forward. Team number five, who is presenting from you? Announced the distinguished professor. And by the way, let me mention this, uh, under the distinguished professor, I, I, I mean uh, my mentor and, and uh, my supporter, uh, famous leadership guru, uh, Mr. Andrew Kakabadze. So you can imagine the, the concentration coming also from this side. So we want it to be the best team, not just in front of our audience, but in front of our distinguished professor. Let's go, Gigi, let's go. You can do this. The encouraging voices of my dear teammates from our class, and I have to mention this, from our incredible class, Essek and Mannheim EMBA 2020. We are so helpful from, and they were coming from different places of the room. And then when I stood on that podium, and when I took that simple but very important step, and when I defeated my inner no, who was slowing me down for so many years, I instantly uncovered my inner capabilities. I felt that I am good in this. I felt that I'm not so bad in this. And after 60 seconds, when I finished addressing so-called journalists, I turned to our investors and I said to them with an increased and confident voice, dear investors, yes, we are going through a very difficult times indeed. But I can assure you that our values and wish to strive for the better future of our company is a guarantee that we will overcome this uncertain period. We will come back and we will regain your trust back. So I would say confidence now was not only in my voice, it was in my blood, it was in my eyes. Then I turned to my employees. I said, dear employees, I will be very direct and honest with you. Yes, there will be a significant cost cuttings and some of you may lose your job. But I can tell you one thing and one thing only, that whoever works hard and delivers the value for the company will stay and keep moving forward. And I am the guarantee of this. So I was on a different planet. I was um, a different person. I was kind of flying, you know? And um, our speech, and I mean our speech, not my speech, our speech had the best feedbacks from everyone. And me, a quite shy person in the past, who was always hesitative of bringing his initiative forward, who was always preferred to stay behind the scenes. Those five minutes changed me. I could have never imagined that after two years from that particular day, and by the way, after three days, it will be exactly two years, I would be standing here and giving a TED talk. But you know what? It's happening. It's real. Was I worried before applying for it? Was I worried before coming here today on this stage? Hell yeah. But now I have much more courage to be vulnerable in front of a lot of people than before. I could have never imagined that after two years, almost two years from that particular day, together with one of my classmates, we would plan to launch a startup which will revolutionize a specific uh, service used by millions of people around the world.
So, uh, as you know, we are having now a lot of meetings with potential investors, venture capitalists, entrepreneurs. So, a lot of presentations and a lot of uh, speeches out there. Well, no more simulations and role plays. Now it is time for the real game. Also, what I could share with you a, a couple of learnings out of this is that, as you can see from my little story, the real experience is the best form of development. I could also state that, you know, the education of our current leaders need more simulations in order to capture the dynamics of a real life, other than lectures. Obviously, the theory, the reading interesting books, articles, scientific um, uh, journals are very important, no doubt about it, no question about it. But simulating and experiencing things bring tremendous value. They bring quick wins. They bring courage. They bring confidence. Also, negative aspects of being shy must be, not should be, must be addressed with intensive action. Um, do not fear of making mistakes. Do not let your fear to stop you or even slow you down. For instance, based, looking now back and based on my short story, I feel so sorry for so many opportunities, so many lost opportunities that I could have taken in my life. So be involved, be active. Those five minutes transcended me because I took that risk and I took that chance. And uh, as I stand here before you, let me tell you, take this important step. A new friend of mine told me recently, Gigi, listening to your story, I can conclude that uh, you do not need to move mountains to overcome your insecurities. All you have to do sometimes is just to make a simple step and follow your inner voice. I think she was right. What do you think? And by the way, how, what did Steve Jobs say? Do not let the noise of others drone out your inner voice. My final message, unleash your inner strengths and uncover your inner capabilities. It is time and you can make it happen. Thank you.